Hey everybody, I hope you're doing really well. So welcome to day two of our current fast. And um, I wanted to share that I am really glad that I'm doing this fast. And um, it's what's interesting about it is that it gives me the time to really rest from, I think some minor either injuries or what I might call pre-injuries from working out uh, this over this last weekend. So I did a 5K for uh, to raise awareness for mitochondria disease research. That was the Mito 5K in San Diego. That was really cool. And the day before I did that little run, while I was at the gym, I felt something along the bottom of my right foot. I don't know what it was, and it, it wasn't my ankle, it was underneath. And it just felt almost like a strain down there. It was really weird. I went ahead and kind of like an idiot ran on that anyway, but I just did a light jog. It really was not a big deal. But then afterwards I was like, oh, I need to be off of this for a bit. So I already knew I was gonna have to be off my feet anyway for that. Then, Yesterday and today, I've been feeling kind of in my sternum area. I don't know if you call it a tightness or a soreness or both, but it really freaking hurts. And I think it's because I pushed myself a little too hard on my bench press. So any movement with my, I'm driving it, even like just driving really was quite a strain. So I don't think it would have been smart anyway for me to have gone to the gym to lift heavy dumbbells or barbells or whatever. So it all just sort of kind of is working out. The bad thing is that, well, there are two things. One is that per usual, I'm getting a migraine. And um, usually I just keep fasting, I fast through it. And the good thing about that is that it means it's a long time before I get another migraine. If I'm able to fast through it, it's sometimes months before I get another one. For me, that's excellent. For most people, that still sucks. But for me, that's really, really good because for many years, for like decades, I was getting migraines three to four times a week. So going months without a migraine is fantastic. But it means I have to suffer through the current one that's coming on. I've been, I've been feeling it slowly creeping on since late last night, and it's just a bummer. The other thing, it's not really a bad thing, it's just a thing, is that I'm really tired and normally I don't get this tired until day four. I'm on day two and I'm tired, man. I, I took a nap, it wasn't long enough, I had to wake up to go to the stinky chiropractor to deal with some other stuff that I'm dealing with. Anyway, so that's just kind of surprising, but I'm really glad that this week I don't have any court appearances whatsoever. and. I don't, I only have to be in the office for one meeting with a potential client. That's it. All of my other meetings are over the phone. Uh, oh no, except for one, I, I'm going to meet them at a coffee shop, but really nothing serious. That's great. I'm lucky that I can take the time to rest. And if you can, then I would encourage you to do it. Uh, try to rest if you can. So otherwise I'm doing fine. I think that maybe the reason why I'm so tired and sluggish and definitely hungrier than normal on a day two is because I already had been having so few calories really leading up to this. So it's just, it's an abnormal fast for me, but I'm doing okay. I hope you're doing well. Let me know how you're doing or if you have any questions and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Please give this video a thumbs up. You know I love those likes. I really appreciate it and subscribe if you haven't already done so. All right, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.